Howdy, y'all. My name is Press. I'm coming at you with some more Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles. It is raining, and that is loud. Give me a second. I need to turn that down. My goodness. It's like I played Slime Rancher right before doing this, and I had to turn things up. And I come back to this game, and man, that rain is loud. That's all right, though. Let's check our produce. Probably nothing. Yeah, because we just... Uh, I'm picking up right where we left off, so it's right where um, we... Uh, Finish setting up the stuff on the farm. Let me check. I know I had said... What, what's our rating at? Animal care, farm cleanliness, value. Okay. We might make another couple of farm plots as well to get some more value out of this. Um, and uh, do some more cobblestone paths. Because I would like to try, within the next episode or two, to finish out the grasslands. Um, I also talked a little bit about wanting to... Um, uh, finish out the Tinker's stuff. So let's look at that real quick. Uh, do, 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 tinker's stuff. We want to make a butter churn. That's what I need. Tinker's kit, gears, cogs. All right, so let's make a Tinker's kit real quick, which is just clay and wood, it looks like. Okay. Man, I feel like that the rain is super loud compared to everything else. Give me a second. Options, audio. I'm just going to turn that down a little bit for now. Because the music is, like, dead quiet for me, and the rain is so loud. I'll change it once the rain goes away. I think that it's, I think it's maybe a glitch from an update. Because, yeah, you can barely hear any of these noises. Hmm, that's bizarre. Okay, so, uh, Tinker's kits are just a wood and some clay, so that's great. Those are easy to make. Yeah, listen to how loud that is. That is ridiculous. Please, rain, rain, go away, come again another day. We need some machine parts and some iron ingots. We need some machine parts, some cogs, and some oil um, in order to make these different things. And those are going to be necessary for these. So here's what I think we're going to do. We are going to go to the teleporter. And we are going to get our way uh, up to the uh, Tinker's area. I forget what that place is called. All right, the rain's starting to subside. Oh, my goodness. That was, that was loud, y'all. My goodness. Okay. I'll give it a second before I turn it back up because, whew, I don't know why I was doing that. All right. Um, but yeah, let's go up to where the um, Tinker's Guild is. And like we've done before, let's just buy as many of the resources as we can buy. Uh, and then from there, we'll move a little bit forward. Because I would like to also, I, I want to work through the Tinker's Guild and I want to work through the Chef's Guild stuff. I think both of those are going to be really useful because we do need to get poutine <laughs> if we want to be able to get the fenicorns. I love that it's poutine. That's so great. Um, I think the best route to take, all right, now let me, let me fix the audio again now that it seems to have normalized. Let's go like that. All right, let's go up to the mountain and then I'll drift down. I think that's the easiest way. Uh, and we do also need to figure out where this other, where our other sailor friend is. So I should go talk to the captain again. But today I want to focus on the Tinker's Guild quest so we can get the butter churn and all that stuff. Uh, and the, um, hi um, Maybe the Chef's Guild. Maybe a couple more things having to do with our um, other quests. Gosh, it's so cool that you can see Bobbinton from all the way out here. Is that what it's called? Bobbintoff. Oh, this game is so pretty. I just want to take a second to appreciate this, y'all. Since it's daytime, we can actually look around at the whole map. It's glorious, y'all. Look at that. What a pretty game. All right, let's go find the Tinker's Guild. It's down here. Do, 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 do. Oh, I can smell. Oh, it's a rock. Gotcha. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> oh, man. I hope I remember to make that the thumbnail. It's just neat, y'all. It's just neat. Oh my goodness, I love it. Um, there's a lot of stuff in the Arctic area that I think we could explore more and do more with. Um, so I think after today's episode, after this Tinker-focused episode, if we get a couple of these goals completed, maybe we'll do a little bit of time checking out the uh, the frigid north, looking for maybe another farm plot, uh, and uh, trying to deal with that stuff. Whee! Do, 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 do. Oh, music transition. I know the shop keeps like right here. Yeah, exactly. Hey there, buddy. How's it going? What you got for me? All right, so here's that raincoat. We could give that one lady if it's still spring. Um, so let's do that. Let's grab all these. Yes. Let's grab all these iron bars. Let's grab all these bits and bobs. 
Let's grab even more ingots. Even more ingots. Cogs. Gears. That's a lot of value. 1823. We might not have enough to afford that all right now. Let's check what we've got in our backpack. Milk. All of them. Okay. That's 450. Eggs. All of them. 900. Um, what else do we have of value? These things are worth a lot. I didn't make those, though. Uh, okay. These things have an increased value here, all the wood-related stuff. Let's see. Potatoes. Those are worth a lot. Berries are worth a lot. Um, do I have any other berries or anything that I have? Blueberries. Ooh, we got a lot of blueberries. That'll do it. That's way too many. Uh, let's go down to eight. There's our 1800. Okay, so then, and I'm getting the raincoat. Uh, that's adding a little bit of the value there, but really a lot of this stuff is just expensive. Let's get the constructor's kits. Why not? Um, oh, no, no, those are ours. Whoops. No, give me those back. Shop stock. I wanted to look at what they've got for sale that we might want. Uh, mortar, definitely. Uh, stone arch. You, you, you. No space? I'm assuming that's no space. Okay, so it's a couple more berries. Uh, two more. That puts us 2,100, and then we'll go 15 of these suckers. Do, 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 do. All right. And I assume that the... Whoops, I accidentally clicked something out of there. Dang, what did I click out? Uh, was it this? No, it was something else. Oh, well, it's fine. Backpack. Um, let's get a little bit more value in there. 2115, one more berry. 2165. Honestly, you know what? I'll just give you the extra. No, 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 no. Not all of it. Um, no, let's click this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then one more. There you go. You can have it. Except, I don't have enough. Oh, come on! Um. For now, we'll get rid of those. So then... It's such a, a trick trying to figure out exactly how much you need of everything. Uh, that was too much. Alright, how about... Now. Oh my goodness. Backpack space is so limited, y'all. Um... Okay, let's just get rid of a lot of this stuff. I mostly just want these and the iron ingots and things. Let's uh, take back all my blueberries. Okay. And let's put two more in there. Okay, let's just go with that. I don't have enough room for... Okay, come on! There's. I need more backpack space. How do I get more backpack space? Because this is ridiculous. Um, all right, but I, I need it now. So I'm just going to sell you a whole bunch of stuff I don't want to sell. Because I just need to get it out of my backpack. Um... Take the sticks. Take more sticks. Take um, these ores, I guess. Oh, I don't want to do that, though. All right, what do you have that I need, need, need? Gears, cogs, bits and bobs. These things, machine parts, iron. We need that. So that's five different items. So I need to get rid of five stacks of items. And we'll come back later for the rest, I guess. Uh, but I have to make sure I get rid of stacks of things. Uh, so, like, let's get rid of all of my eggs. All right, that puts it to 560. Let's get rid of all my potatoes. That puts it to 810. So that's four. I need to get rid of another stack of things. So let's get rid of these three butterberry flowers. Let's get rid of this one twine. Let's get rid of this one copper ore, this one set of seeds. Um, let's get rid of all these red berries. So that puts this, okay, roughly there. Ooh, that's a lot of herbs. I have a ton of herbs. That's a lot of value. Um, bundle of sticks. Sure, take it. Uh, what else? Um... I'm just looking for cheap stuff that I can just get rid of that's got, like, maybe, like, a slightly more value. A little bit of wood. Sure, take it. Um, what else? What else? What else? Okay, we're at 11.53. Let's just do... Are you kidding? There's a maximum amount of space you can fill over here. Okay. How about all these? Oh my goodness. Oh, you're, you're, you're being so rude to me today, game. Um, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Rude. I definitely had space that time. Okay, now let me check how much space do I have now. I have a lot of empty space now. So now, 
Let's go grab the other stuff that he had that I wanted. Mortar, this thing, that thing. Um, raincoat. Uh, yep. And the stone. And iron. Okay, backpack. Let's get rid of all of our milk. That's pretty much it. Let's do two more blueberries. Okay, space. Yes, okay, cool. Goodness, that was a headache. <laughs> oh, man. I need a bigger backpack. There's too many items in this game, and you're required to have them on you to complete so many quests that, like, putting stuff in your storage at your farm is just, like, kind of a waste. Like, not entirely, but it just, like, sometimes it feels like, hey, I need that stuff. Um, where's the spot for the bridge? I just want to see how close we are to having what we need. Do-do. Because I have a bunch of arches and columns and things on me now. I need three more arches and five more stone pillars. Gosh, that's so much. All right, map. I would love to just pop across there, but I can't. I'd have to go all the way around. So I guess we'll head this way. It's so inconvenient <laughs> that I can't just make this bridge. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's just head home then, I guess. Um, and while we're on the way, let's think about making uh, some of these things. Like, seriously, this bridge, y'all have heard me complain about this, I think, the entire time. This one bridge, this very one bridge right here is the bane of my existence. Um, let's see. So... We want to make a butter churn. I need oil, and I need rivets. Where can I get rivets? Because that was the Tinker's Place, right? Was there another shop over here? Let me go back up here real quick. Was there another person that I could buy from? Because you'd think that you would get all that stuff here, where the Tinker's people are. Like oil and rivets, I would expect to be there as well. But let's see. Yeah, there's only one shop. Um... Let me double check. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Let me double check if he's got oil or rivets. Otherwise, I'm going to have to find a different shop that might have them. I think oil I can get from the uh, where Jojo Cozanero is. Uh, those are clay pots. Um, yeah, I don't see rivets. So where do I get rivets? That's going to be a bit of a an issue if I can't get those. Um, okay. Well, we'll just, again, we'll just keep heading this away. That's a cool tree. Never saw this before. Are you like going to that arch? That's neat. Okay. Whee! Okay. And which town is this? Oh, this is the tutorial town. All right, let's go uh, clear this Merc over here. Might as well. We're already over here. If we can. Yep, totally can. That's a, that was a two spriter. Oh, that reminds me, I should switch out our, uh, our sprite. Let's do that. Uh, so, let us, where is that, is it in here? Yes, so let's go with, who we got? Curio's pretty cute, we'll go with Curio. Okay, so let's plant some trees as well, since we can. Might as well. Now, some of y'all were telling me that I should try cutting trees down to the stump, but not cutting the stump, and that allegedly that will, uh, it'll regrow the tree. Um, I'll try it. I think I'll try it in the area that's kind of like right below, oh, cool, extra seeds. Um, I think I'll try it right in the area that's below our starter zone, because I'm more likely to see those trees, like to pay attention to them. Because if I did it with trees over here, I'd forget to even look, because I'd never come over this way. And... Uh, then, you know, <clears throat> I wouldn't be able to really test it. Or I'd have to go out of my way to test it. Let's uh, map it real quick. Yeah, we're 100% now. We have one quest to complete, which is the one for the missing crew. Which, I mean, I don't really even know how to find the last crew member. I'll have to go talk to him. And then uh, it's just the trees and the um, farm getting up to the maximum. And then this region will be 100% happy. So that's super cool. Um, so let's head back to the farm. Do, 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 do. And yeah, you see these trees down here? I'll chop some of these down to the uh, down to the stump, and we'll see if that helps. And we have some more trees to plant. Doot. Uh, 
We still have 22 left in the grasslands to uh, to get. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take these two trees, chop them down just to the stump. Oh, look at that cute little worm! How adorable is he? All right. So it's spring, day seven, year two. I'm curious to see when is the... Uh, when does the season switch over to the first day? Because some of y'all were telling me that that... Um, the lumberyard deal. Uh, I need to go there on the night of the first day of a season. And so I don't know if that means night as in 1 a.m., like, you know, like midnight, or if that means uh, like, you know, 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. Uh, on, uh, on that day. But anyway, we'll figure that out as we figure it out. So... If I'm heading this way, I'm trying to think. Where's the best teleporter? I guess it's the one over here. Let's go stop by our farm. Let's pick up any goods that we've got because we, uh, I do need to clear out my inventory. My goodness, y'all. Uh, and then we'll pick up whatever produce we've got for trading. Hi! Wow. So cute. Hello. What a cutie. Still think it's weird that you make eggs. I guess you're like a marsupial then, maybe? Well, like, like an echidna? A monotreme. Is that what they're called? The uh, mammals that lay eggs? Um, do, 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 do. Okay, uh, storage. Getting a little turned around here, y'all. Uh, okay, what do I want to put away? I don't need any of these types of things on me. All right, let's put away dyes, um, flowers. Yeah, honestly, I should just put away almost everything except for trading goods when I'm going to leave. And then I can pick out the stuff that I need um, when I come back. So like stone, I don't need on me. Machine parts, I don't need yet because I still got to go find oil and stuff. I don't need planks. don't need arches. Because um, really, all I'm thinking about is trade goods is what I need to focus on. A lot of nails. Put away the large pen. Um, now, I could think about making things. And yeah, see, I would have given the lady the raincoat, but she was across the bridge. So I couldn't go give her the raincoat. And now the spring's probably going to be over the wait a year. Um... But that's fine. It is what it is. Water trough, feeder trough. Uh, yeah. Let's just uh, keep on putting some stuff away until my inventory is basically empty. Um, I keep the seeds because, you know, we run across that stuff. Uh, put away the flowers, gears, cloth, glue. We'll keep the juice. I know I have that. I need that for a quest for somebody. Bread we'll hold on to in case we come across a potential person to hire. Silk, get rid of you. Brewer's kit, moon silk flower, coal, we can get rid of, yeah. And leather. Okay. And bits of buffs. And construction kits. Alright, our inventory is like maximum size. Now I am thinking maybe I should go to Bob and Toff and buy that um, that backpack. I don't know if it's gonna be bigger. Um, but it might look different at least. Let's grab all this stuff. Do, 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 do. And it costs old kingdom coins, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, so let me look quickly. Tinker's Guild stuff. What's it going to cost for us to get? I still need oil and rivets. I'm thinking I might learn how to make rivets once I upgrade in my skill level. Oil, gears, cogs, bits and bobs, machine parts, glue, and planks. Do we have all that stuff? I do, except for oil. So let's go over to this spot. Did I complete this quest? I don't think I've completed this quest, have I? No, I did. I, I think I did. Do, 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 do. Or was it... I can't remember. Let's, um, I think, I don't think I did. I think that's why the exclamation point's there. Um, let's just go head that direction. I'm looking for oil. That's what we're looking for. Oh, that was neat. I, did you hear that? When I walked above it, you could hear the, uh, the thing falling or the door closing. And then I could also go check what this guy has to say about, um, our three friends. Cause we're looking for tack. What's tack into? Bro. Jim the sailor's a whiz with food. Tack the sailor likes nature. And Luff the sailor likes to chill out. I hope that helps your search. Tack likes nature. Okay. So if Tack likes nature, I'm assuming that means like forest. So he's either going to be here in Hearthwind Vale or in Dapplewood Forest. Where did I find... I found Jib here. I found one of them here. I found one of them here. So I think it makes sense to have him be somewhere around here. Oh, and then the sanctuary. I need to go check that as well. What's this? Fashionable. Guildmaster. Okay. 
All right. We'll um, we'll have to keep our eyes out. I'll have to go do like a hunt, an adventure for Tack the Sailor here in a little bit. Um, so I'm heading this way. We're going to go try and get the Sage Stone to work, and then I'm going to try and buy some oil if anybody's got it. Hopefully I'll find a way to make my own oil soonish. That would be nice. Let's see. What do you got? Clay, water, cheese, butter, berries. Nothing that jumps out at me as like that I need. What about you, my friend? You got oil? Uh, eggs, milk. Yeah, nothing really. Again, that's fine. Do 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 do. Let's go head up the beach. Okay. So this has been kind of a trade-heavy episode, more so than I thought. The ingredients for Tinker's stuff are pretty complex. I kind of almost need to be able to, like, teleport around to every place every day. Oh, look at you, piggy! You're cute! I know, I don't have the thing for you that you need, that's fine. What kind of flowers are these? They're pretty. Alright, let's go find the sage stone. Is it... It's way further along the way, okay. Because I remember doing this quest, but this was for a sprite. And in my head, I was like, oh yeah, I got that sage stone, but no, the sage stone's actually over here. It looks like it might be on top up here. Yeah, it looks like it's up on top of this uh, area. So I need to actually get up there, if I can. I don't know that I even know how to, if I'm honest, to get up there. Do, 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 do. Other than to like, go all the way around, get up there, and then come all the way back down. Do, 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 do. Yeah, see, because I don't, the, the this big cliff here, it kind of extends the whole way, and I think the only pathway up is like to go all the way around here, like towards Dapplewood, and go up and then come back. It's a bit of a, a bit of a task, if I'm honest, but that's okay. All right. Do, 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 do. Let's go find us some oil, because I'm like 99% sure that I can get oil here. I feel like they had oil for some of the cooking quests, um, and so we'll just do stuff related to that. And I guess I should also look into, like, what, as far as the chef's quest. Where's the chef stuff? Here we go. Bread requires flour, oil, water, and a chef's kit. What's a chef's kit? Stone and clay. Easy. All right. Fish and chips. Cooked fish. French fries. I should make some of those. Oh, yeah. Need to buy some seasoning. Okay. Okay. Well, let's just get as many of the goods as we can. Oh. Hello, sir. So I heard equipment stock is really good to pick up in Inglenook right now. Oh, cool. Inglenook. Which one's Inglenook? I don't know. I'm not really good with the names of the towns. I need to get better at that. Uh, all right. What you got? Oil. Yeah. Um, also got like lucky bronze fish. Okay. Uh, well, let's get the flour too. Might as well. Let's get the... Um, what else has value? All the stuff that we're going to be selling them because it's food is also not going to have a lot of, as much value as it usually does. I guess that's going to be it then. So, backpack, let's sell you milk, egg, a couple of these suckers, 210. All right, let's do uh, one more. I do find it interesting that you can't get your own water. I feel like you should be able to make your own water. You know what I mean? Like, just go pick it up out of some areas around. But that's fine. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's trade for that stuff. Cool. Uh, anyone else here sell stuff? Do do do. Hello. Ooh, gosh, it's you again. So what do you think? This is one of my cute marts that you'll see located around Jamea. I'm bringing gruffle themed fashion to the masses. Thank you so much for your help. And remember, at Cute Mart, we turn drab into fab. Hey, cool. The CEO of Cute Court. So this is a this is a new spot that she built. Holy butts! Look at that! <gasps> That's so neat! Oh, I love that! I invested early on. Um, what do you got here? Star backpack for 20. Wow, do we have 20? We do. What's this shirt? Baker's apron, Baker's baji. <gasps> She's got such cool stuff! I'm gonna buy the backpack because I do think that it might be bigger and we have enough. Let's do it. Can I equip it? Um, Does it give me more space? Or is it just fashion? It might just be fashion. This thing's worth 617 value, though, so we can sell that. Let's check out our backpack. Oh, yeah! That's sweet! I'm cool with that. Nice! I wonder if she's going to have a whole bunch of uh, 
these stores in different places that sell different stuff because this one sells different ones than Bob and Toff does. So I guess now that um, now that she's out and about, she might be popping up all over the place. I have a quest to turn into you, right? You wanted the juice? Sorry, it's been like a week. Whoa! Now that's the spirit, kid. How about I tag along with you for a while? Come on, let's do it. Oh, was she a sprite? I gave her spirits and she became a sprite. That's awesome. Okay, so map-wise, anyway, let's get back to the goal at hand. I got some oil, so that's good. Here's what I want to do. I want to go up this hill so I can come back around and check out this guy, see what he needs. And then um, we'll go back home and we'll work on um, Tinker stuff. Because um, now that I'll be able to get back here quicker, that'll be really nice. And uh, I should really focus on getting a whole bunch of... Um, Old Kingdom coins by just catching fish and selling them to the old dude, uh, the old dude at the sea, uh, so I can buy some more of that stuff. So now I'm getting to a point where I may want to start playing a little bit offline of just like gathering materials and building stuff up and then um, showing you all that when I get there. I'll be interested to see what y'all have to say about that. I won't start that right away. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys want to see absolutely everything or would you rather me... Um, do, 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 uh, get some stuff off camera, like kind of like do some chores related stuff off camera. Because I know that like it's like in Slime Rancher, sometimes I'll do some stuff off camera so that like uh, you guys just don't have to be put through all that nonsense of me just like um, feeding plorts or getting plorts and feeding slimes. Um, so uh, let me know. What do you what do y'all think? What are y'all thinking? All right. Hello. Oh, I hear a kitty cat. Is that you down there? Aha! I saw that blue. What do you want, buddy? Prove your ability. Toil to bring what dwells in the waters to the land. Catch fish <clears throat> larger than 22 centimeters. I can do that. Uh, let's go do that real quick. We got some time. We got some time. Uh, should I do it in the ocean? Why not? Where's the old man by the sea? I know he's around here somewhere. We. Let's go fish into ocean. I think I saw a spot. Yeah, here we go. I need to plant a, a seed here. There we go. Okay. Let's do it. Y'all know me. I, I dig the crap out of this fishing game. Come here, little fishy. Yeah, you want that little thing? Yeah, let's go. Do, 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 Thank you. I still need to catch a bunch of these dips um, for that one quest for Bob. Who wants fish? Fish for Bob? Come on. There you go. Yeah, come on. Come on, fishy. Fishy, fishy, fish. Oh, I wonder where this big fish did go. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yeah, you see that. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, he almost got away. My goodness. He just ran. That's a big fish, though. Maybe it'll be a 22 centimeter. Or... Oh, gosh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Nice. How big are you? 14. Not big enough. hey -ya! I'm pretty sure I've caught fish bigger than that before, bigger than 22 centimeters. I just need to uh, do it again after getting that quest. That's why it's good to try and get all the sage quests, I think, as early as possible. Because a lot of these quests you're going to just complete just in your day-to-day, -day, uh, like what you're doing in the game. And um, if you wait to do it, you're going to have to do it again later. You know what I mean? 18 centimeters close. Not exactly what we needed, though. What's with that clock that goes above our head? See that? We're like worried about time. It's summer, day eight, year two. So spring is over. It's the first day of summer, I think. So I'm going to miss out on that Sprite by the lumber yard, if that's the thing. By the way, I would appreciate um, people not giving me, because I, I would consider that a spoiler. Um, so please don't leave that kind of stuff. <laughs> Old soggy boot. In the comments. Um, hints are okay. Or if I deliberately ask for help about something, that's okay. But, like, I, uh, I'd i rather stumble around and figure things out on my own than um, people tell me stuff. Until I say, like, all right, tell me where the stuff is. Then it's totally okay. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Yeah, the old soggy boot fought a lot more than you might think it would. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. I can get you. Come on. I'll give it a couple more tries here. And then I might just have to say... We done. Ah, there we go. Right as I'm saying it. Perfect. Okay. Let's get ourselves back up there. Let's get the Sage Stone. Then I can teleport home and we can work on our Tinker stuff. And that'll probably be where we'll end 
around this episode, somewhere around there. I say that, y'all know me. Who knows how long this episode will be. But hopefully y'all have been enjoying watching it, because I have been enjoying playing it. Oh yeah. I'd like to get a bunch of old Kingdom coins and buy some of those um, different uh, clothing items, if I'm honest. The backpack's nice. I don't know if it gave us any more storage space, but that's fine if it didn't. It's still cool looking. We got a big old star on our back. What up, buddy? Let me teleport. The path is opened. Cool. Eh, let me in. Eh, let me in. Okay, so let's go to home. Because that's, I know I can get to my storage from there. Now that we've got oil, I might be able to at least make like I don't I since I don't have rivets, I can't make the um, butter churn, but I think I can make the cheese maker or vice versa. Like one of them only requires oil, not um, rivets. So we'll try and make that one, whichever it one it is. Oh, and the rain has returned. All right, now where were those trees that I cut? All right, so I see. I see a stump and a stump. All right, I'll give them more time, but those are still stumps. And now I have a feeling that they won't grow back. Maybe they will. I don't know. Don't know for sure. I don't know how long it takes for things to grow in this game. I have a feeling they won't because in most games like this, like Stardew Valley uh, or is this the right one? Yes, this is the right one, I think. Um, in most games like this or Stardew Valley or other such games, um, Stumps just mean they're taking up a spot where you could grow a tree. Um, and so it's usually like you need to dig out the stump or, you know, whatever, and then replace it with seeds uh, of a sapling. Uh, plus, just like from a realistic standpoint, it doesn't make sense to <laughs> for a tree to grow back from a stump. Um, okay, so. Hi, guys. Little pink sausage man. Um, say hello to everybody. Even though I know that Bushel's doing a great job of taking care of them. I see that we got some trees that grew in. That's nice. Hi. And because this Southfield area is so happy, um, our uh, item generation rates are so much uh, more than they used to be. Okay, so let's grab all the stuff we might need. Planks, probably. Nails, probably. Um, sticks, maybe. Uh, regular sticks, probably. Do, 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 do. Definitely those, definitely these, this, nails, cogs. I'm just looking around for anything that looks like I might need to use it for building stuff. Uh, machine parts, most definitely. Stone, maybe. What about, um, where's the iron bars? Iron bars. Okay, so let's see for making the, that's rivets and leather is what we need for that. Uh, what about this guy? Glue. I can get some glue. Glue, 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 glue. There we go. Okay. So, if I go to the crafting, go to the tinkers, we can make a cheese maker. Nice. Um, okay. So then we can also make some of these things. But what do we need for, let's say, the fertilizer maker? We could use coal and gears. So let's make some gears. And now we need cogs. And now we need some coal. Let us get that. Because um, I know I should have at least a little bit. I don't think I sold it all. If not, I might have to go make some. Cool. Pool. Ah, there we go. Okay. Now, crafting. Tinkers. Um, fertilizer maker. That's the one, right? Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Now, for the seed maker. Bits and bobs, cogs, gear, mortars, and keystone. We should be able to do that. Uh, what do I need for these? Tinkers kit. Tinkers kit and cogs. So, let's make uh, some tinkers kits, which are clay and wood. Do I have any more clay? Yep. Do I have any more wood? Or do I need to chop down some wood? I know I have wood that I can get out of my produce bin as well, so that's fine. Um, all right, so crafting-wise, let us do, 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 make Tinker's Kit, make some cogs, make Tinker's Kit, make some gears, uh, make Tinker's Kit. Oh, no, I need more iron ingots now. So that's going to be the limiting factor because I needed to make more cogs. So then what are we missing? We're missing cogs, mortar, and keystone, and the mortar and keystone I have. So at least we made two of these. We discovered the cheesemaker. Now, as far as value for the quest the becoming the master uh tinker's guild 
How much have we gotten out of that, I wonder? So let me just quickly step outside. Because those things are probably worth a lot. Oh, we did it! I just got to go speak with Ruby TikTok. Cool. So we'll end the uh, episode going over there and talking to her because maybe we'll unlock some new things that'll be really useful for us as well. Just grab all that stuff. Oh, cool. We got the heartwood stuff from one of those. Um, all right. So I will leave these here because Bushel will chop them down and replant them and everything. It seems to be more efficient that way. Um, uh, oh, that's right. Here's where I need to go. So let's go here and let's put down some stuff. Oh, and I need to figure out what the... Um, what you call it? What the? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's rotate this real quick. What the Bambex makes? Right, we'll put that like that. Okay, and then let's also put down the cheese maker. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And we'll put that over kind of by the groffle, I think. If that makes sense. If there's some space. Um. Well, if the road's gonna be like here-ish. This, this kind of blocks the groffle. I put it here. How about we do it like that? So let's go like that. Okay. And back. Now, what do I do? F to interact. Automatically produces one cheese from one groffle milk. Manually produce one cheese from two groffle milk. Well, let's put some... Oh, I only have one. How many cheese would you like to do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Okay, so that's going to make some cheese. And I got cheese. I discovered it. Did I just immediately get it? Or is it my produce? Oh, I have it in my backpack. Cool. <clears throat> so now that that is on the farm, um, when I come back, whenever I come back, uh, some of my milk should be turned into cheese, I believe, if it works the way that I think it does. Uh, so that's neat. So I should leave milk here now because cheese is likely to be more valuable than, um, uh, than just straight milk, I imagine. Let's check our backpack, actually. It says it's only worth 50. Base value, local value. So maybe, but maybe like depending on the region or more likely depending on the recipes that we can make stuff with here. Now that I have cheese, I can probably make some higher level things. Oh, look, you make seasoning yourself. Golden mint, herbs, oil. I wonder how I could farm golden, golden mint and all those other things. I wonder if the, um, you know, I was talking about how there is this thing, the planter box. I wonder if, planter box filled with flowers. I wonder if that grows flowers. Um, so that I can, you know, farm them. Because, like, I have my sprig pig, which gives me some flowers. I don't think it gives me all the different types of flowers, though. Anyway, let's head on out to talk to, um, what's her name? TikTok? Something talk? Ruby talk? Uh, over at um, the TikTok village, whatever that place is called. I need to get better with these names. Let me, uh, let me check the map real quick. I want to remember these. Uh, she is up at... Arbor Ridge. That's not what they called that place. They had a better name for it. It's, let me let me see. In, let's see. Speak with Ruby TikTok. Well, she's at Arbor Ridge, so we'll go to Arbor Ridge. I thought there was a different name for it. Um, and uh, from there, we'll have completed the quest, and we'll see what the next stuff that we can build as tinkers is going to be. If one of them is um, rivets, then that will answer one of our big questions. I'm also curious about turning um, ores into... Um, into bars because I've, I've been gathering ore a ton and I haven't seen how to make ores yet I don't think let me check my crafting guild stuff oh that's I just do it like this okay gotcha that's easy so you take constructors kits and you mix together ores in order to get these gotcha okay well there we go question answered I thought I had to make a machine for it or something like a furnace um, so that's no biggie so it is cool to know that the um, Tinker's Guild really doesn't require you to make a lot in order to um, complete that quest. I mean, what, we made two big expensive things, and that was about it. Uh, easiest way I know of to get there is to go to the top of the mountain and then jump down into it. Takes a little bit of time, but um, seems to be the simplest. Ooh, that music, though. That music, though. Do, 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 do. Okay. And I think each season lasts about seven days, by the way. All right, here we are. Oh, look. More minerals for me to actually use from now on. Hi-ya! Hua! Ha-ha! And go! Whee! That's so pretty, man. I gotta say, I am impressed that they were able to um, build the architecture of the game in a way that where they could actually, like, properly load in 
um, at least to some visual extent, the entirety of the game. Like, I like being able to look out there and see, even though it's like blurry, you can see everything. Instead of them like fully fog of warring it and then making it so you can't see it at all, uh, you can actually see that far. Although right now we're getting a little bit of fog. I imagine it's supposed to be like a seasonal thing though. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, that's right. She's up here. She's up top, isn't she? Do, 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 do. There we go. Hello! <laughs> oh, man. Ah. Well done. You have mastered the arts of the Tinker. Yeah, we did it. We got the Tinker's Guild Master Badge. Oh, one of y'all was telling me I need to wear the badges, too. We'll try that in a second here. Can I? I don't know how I do it. Don't know how to wear them. Can't do it. Anyway, uh, so let's look at what we can make now. We can now make Tinker's Goggles for the Inquisitive type. Okay, so we can make goggles. We can make some Tinker's Clothes. And we can make a lamp post, And that's about it. Everything else is the same. So rivets, we're not getting from here. That's okay, though. I would kind of like to make some of those clothes, though. Oh, wait! We can make sunglasses, huh? We can make sunglasses... Here, which we need for the quest. Um, and those require rivets as well. So rivets must be under maybe constructor. So I should try and complete the constructor um, quest as well. I'm assuming. Again, I have no idea for sure, but be just considering I haven't been able to find rivets anywhere makes me think that I need to do that. Let me go check this guy real quick. Whee! Um, to see if he has anything else in stock that I might want. He's got some bars, machine parts. Machine parts are good. Uh, I don't see rivets anywhere. Yeah, no rivets. Uh, what about these? And this, these, and this, because I definitely need them. Might as well buy these as well. Okay, that's a lot of value. I don't know if I have enough. Well, you know what I do have? Old backpack. Get rid of that. Um, and then, where's the cheese? Where's my cheese? There we go. 50. No, oh, it'll do. Bunch of these. Uh, what are we at? Right, 890. So let's go for like seven. Dude. Six. Okay, no, I was right. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, and so if we've got a little bit more value, how about we get from you anything roughly cheap? How about one plank? Cool. Got it. Cool. All right. Well, let. I guess the last thing I would like to do... How many... Uh, I don't have the other ones on me. I was like, we probably have almost the stuff to make the bridge, but I don't have the, uh, <laughs> I don't have all of it that I need. So I'm not gonna be able to cross here. Ugh. Y'all know. Y'all know how much this infuriates me. I just want to be right over there. It's not that far. It's right there. But instead I have to go around the entire world to get there. Uh, where is this teleporter? It's all the way over here. It's crazy how much this tiny little spit of water makes my life so difficult even going around this way it's going to take a little bit of time but oh well let's do it because i do want to go figure out what um the uh bambex makes and uh we should have a bunch of it sitting in there stored away now um so let's go ahead oh maybe we'll get lucky no we did not get lucky goodbye you can jump farther than that, boy. Come on. Come on. Is that a cat? That's a cat! Hey, cat! Oh, that was cute. All right. Let's, um... Run across this way. Should be able to. Yep. Just because I don't think... Yeah, I didn't... I was going to say, I didn't think I'd actually been over here before. Hello, treasure. Blonde shampoo. Okay. It's a thing. Um... We need to get the bridge over to that place, which will probably give us access to a new, another treasure chest or something as well. Okay, this is a neat little spot. All right. I kind of wish there were things that you could build out in the world, not just on your um, farm. 
I think that'd be kind of cool. I mean, obviously there's the bridges and stuff, uh, but I mean like just like randomly and like just pick a spot and go like, I want to build a thing here. I want to build a thing there. Hey there, Sprig Pig. Look how cute you are. All right, run away. It's fine. They are so cute. My goodness. Okay. Um, and yeah, it's like right here. I think unless I build this bridge, I have to go all the way around in order to get up here. And even if I build this bridge, I don't know if this takes me up. What does this one cost? Lots of stone stuff. Again. That's fine. That's fine. Um, we'll just take the long walk. Do some scenery looking. Because I really, really want to know what it is that uh, them there Bambexes make. Hopefully it's something really useful. It would be nice. Something I always need. Hoo yeah. <laughs> Maybe they, uh, how great would it be if they made something like glue or mortar or something? That would be incredible. Do, 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 do. And so let's think about what I want to do next episode, because uh, I know I like I asked you all in this episode to comment and let me know um, if you want to see absolutely everything or if it's OK if I do some off camera stuff. Um, but I will need to record the next episode before I see all those comments. Um, I want to give you guys time to comment, basically. Um, so I will um, just go ahead and do another episode where we're just going to pick up right uh, where we left off on this one. So I think next time I... I'm torn. I either want to do a bunch of quests, you know, adventure some more, kind of explore things, uh, or work on the farm that's over um, at the top of the peak, or like over by the peak, uh, and then that way we can try and work towards getting the, um, what are they called? Do, 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 do. Nope, nope. The fluff cubs, which probably give you fluff, um, the gerpakas, and the squambles. Um, and then also we could work on our farm that we have where the, uh, fennecorns are going to be. Um, but I got to figure out how to get poutine, which just means I need the, um, to work on my, um, culinary quest. So maybe I'll work on the chef's guild quest next time. Cause this time we completed the tinker's guild quest. Maybe work on the chef's guild quest next time and see, uh, what we get from that. Uh, let's go see what y'all have produced. Hello, Priscilla. You still love sitting on the outside here. It's great. Uh, you are such... A unique character. Hello, Bambex. What's what should we name the Bambex? Um, how about Flambe? Okay, value produced one percent. What do we got? Oh, they give you uh, furs or, or um, hides, which we can then turn into leather and stuff. Okay, well, I mean that's a source of it. That's cool. Don't have to hunt anybody. Don't have to use traps. Instead, we can just. Uh, get it from our bambexes cool i might think about getting more of each animal just so we're producing more stuff um is there a tinker's thing that makes us leather or do we have to go to the tanners we probably have to go to the tanners i think um cheese maker for like i can make one of each of these things right now i have the materials for it oh cool well we already have a cheese maker i'd like to make a seed maker add some crops and after time seeds come out i think that'd be really useful it's going to take one of our keystones that's fine. Let's do it. All right. And we also need to work on the Brewer's Quest as well. Um, some of y'all said that it's possible that I might be able to get mortar or glue or something from the Brewer's Quest. So I need to work on that one as well. Um, but now we have a seed maker. So that's neat. So I'll go put that back on um, Southwood Farm or Southfield. Because um, that's just where I'm kind of consolidating a lot of stuff right now. Um, and then as I start to uh, think more about my allocation of space and whatnot. Because this one is a pretty big space. Um, maybe I'll want to put a bunch of farms here like a huge potato farm and a huge berry farm and all that kind of stuff. Cause those are worth a lot and they'll be useful for us in making food. So um, yeah, well y'all, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please be sure to give this video a like, a favorite and subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know down below how you feel about me doing some off camera work. Um, and uh, ultimately just uh, have a fantastic day. Yeah. So uh, with that, I will see y'all next time. Did you just make that cute noise? Look at you posing. You fancy.